Post. By the time this venerable reporter arrived at the park site, the lights were out and the moon was shining. The only thing, hopefully, missing from this park setting is some beast in a hockey mask chasing scantily clad kids. I had a flashlight and a smartphone, woefully unprepared for any confrontation. The cabbie said she'd started down the trail that leads to the lakeside. I made my way. 20 minutes of stumbling and dodging countless branches. I thought I could hear whispers, people talking, and the smell of some strange incense. When I reached the turn in the trail overlooking the lake, I found Catherine among some rocks. Most of her, anyway. The prior two murders, the victims were missing their blood. With dear Catherine, it had escalated. She was missing her head and did not lose it easily. <laughs> Item. One of her secrets Catherine Rayner had were now lost. Along with her head, not cut, was literally ripped from her body by something massive and strong. I was suddenly alerted to something moving out on the water, something big from the sounds of it. As I raised my smartphone to try and take a picture, I heard a snap of a twig behind me, and then a sack full of hammers raining on my skull. As I caught the night train to unconsciousness, I again heard people whispering all around me, but the tongue was foreign like it hadn't been spoken in many centuries. Could it be this old reporter had covered his last story? <laughs>